Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel and thank you for being here for your reading. We are going to be looking at the monthly predictions of, and this is for Cappy Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or to the cross watchers who are connected to a Cappy. This can definitely be helpful for you. Uh, before I kick off this reading though, if you um, could please subscribe um, to the channel, that would be amazing. Otherwise for private readings, please email me. I am currently accepting those. Otherwise, let's see what the predictions are here for you, um, Kathy. Okay, powerful Empress energy. She's, she's fire, but I feel like to me she's very earth. So, I mean, you can read her as you want. Um, but to me, I read her as a Taurus or a Libra. She's very Venus to me. She's she's Venus energy. So to be honest, I think you've got a, a, a huge a huge um a huge milestone that you're meeting in love potentially. But I, the Empress also represents things that are beautiful um, and luxurious. And to be honest, I feel like there is a huge um there's a bit of an upgrade in terms of money and I feel like this is going to lead to some very huge or successful developments. You've got the world card and the magician so I think a lot of you are straight away attracting an international energy. Uh, it could be through a, a person or an offer and or opportunity to really put you on the world stage. We've got fame next to you here as the magician or it could be a destined Aries who's coming in around you. I'm seeing entrepreneurial activity so this is really going independent but going global it's it's right next to each other so a lot of you are out there sitting on some sort of idea um or goal and it's independent so it's 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 close to you it's it's freelance it's your own little baby and you've been nurturing it for quite some time and i feel like the world card is i see essentially you putting it out there to the world your idea gaining traction, Cappy. So if a lot of you are sitting out there on that idea, make it happen, you're coming up as the Eight of Pentacles. You're in that number eight vibration. This is powerful stuff. You have uh, you have seven, eight, and nine. So I think you're etching closer to an, um, a new cycle here. It's happening for you fairly quickly. There is an ending. But for the most part, to see you as the Eight of Pentacles, I definitely feel like you're making concrete plans. So this is things that are written in stone. So it may be destiny. You know, the world is spirit. It's God. It's the universe that's sort of shaping things up for you. It's also a sense of accomplishment and like completing a cycle. But as, as you complete one cycle, a new one begins. Okay, so we've got this fame thing happening here. I also feel like there's big news coming your way. The Empress can be pregnancy, love, relationships, and intimacy. So I feel like there is a huge amount of intimacy coming in around you. But I'm wondering who this air sign is. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's getting in the way here. It could be someone you've recently ended things with. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. Hmm. Okay. There's an energy that's showing up here. Um. I feel like this is a person or a situation where someone someone took advantage of the other person but they feel bad for what they did seven of swords i feel like they're regretting a thing something that they did they're looking back they're looking back to the nine of swords so this is what makes me think it's someone that may be from your recent past they may still be orbiting you or you may still be connected on social media but i feel like this person is showing up and i think you're going to hear from them um they may have the entrepreneurial, they may have some good news or some transformative news about themselves that they sort of want to show off with. Um, and I think they're sort of going to, they're going to, I get that this person may try to like impress you with what they have. And it's, it seems very, it's coming across as very materialistic. 
So it's coming across as I have all these nice fleshy things. It's trying, they're trying to hook you in. Seven of Swords. They've been dishonest though. Like I said, they feel bad for what they've done, but this is not someone who's very ethical, you know, they're not very righteous. They do things that are maybe frowned upon or they do things that they aren't necessarily proud of. Um, and they're coming forward here. You're unaware of this Capricorn. You're unaware of, I'm, I'm thinking it's an air sign. There's an air sign who's very, um, very preoccupied with thinking about you and processing some things that recently went down between the both of you. But you're sort of, you're, you're busy working on yourself. You're not really seeing it. This person isn't showing that vulnerable side to you either. They're only showing that magician side. Let's see what they want to communicate with though. What they're sort of thinking and feeling. To be honest, I think they're confused. I'm confused seeing this. Like, oh, it's been draining. Okay, I left you before you could leave me. I feel you leaving me behind. Okay, leaving. Who's leaving? It was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay, they're taking the blame, which is good, but okay, I keep getting leaving, left, moved out, left you, you left them. To be honest, I'm getting an energy where, yeah, they did it before you could do it to them. Um, I'm getting that someone messed up. They wanted you to find out and it's their way of leaving the situation. Wow. Okay. That's a lot to take in. It's sneaky. That's for sure. But it's very, um, very calculative, but the magician's calculative. So I'm wondering if it's the same person could be an Aries. A uh, magician can be read as a gem as well. Gemini. Uh, Something happened with this person that they felt very disconnected with you, Capricorn. But they let it get to that stage. They let things unfold. It's like they had the opportunity to intervene and say something, but they didn't. So now Nine of Swords, they've got this, you know, they're living with this sort of pain and worry. This is someone who's got a lot of um, a lot of anxiety over over what happened and I feel like like I feel like I'm at a loss for words to say what they're feeling so I just think they're feeling very lost and very drained even as I'm doing this reading trying to like tap into their energy it's like it's a very slow kind of depressing energy I'm not gonna lie I feel like it's just a heavy blanket that's been like cast over them and they feel like they have no movement but they feel they have to show up as the magician so don't don't be fooled what you see by what you see, especially over like social media and what they're showing to the world. It's not a clear reflection of what's going in. Um, I get that they're maybe playing the blame game. Okay, there could be some blaming, some finger pointing that's going on here. Um, and it seems so set in stone. I don't know what this is, Capricorn. I think a part of you has... You know, you've figured this person out and you've said, that's it, you know, I'm not going back or I'm not doing this... But the Empress is bringing a lot of Venus energy, so you may try to be distracting yourself with other things, but this, this I feel is going to creep up on you, and I don't think you're going to be expecting it at all. Let's see what you're manifesting. Let's see if this shows up. Okay, King of Cups, definitely a love situation. We've got a Pisces that has come up here. Two Cups, Twin Flame. King of Cups, Soulmates, Twin Flame, but the Moon, Page of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, timing. Timing is really important, but I feel like luck is on your side. I love that the Wheel of Fortune and the World kind of have both come up here because I feel like you're wrapping things up. So the words that are coming to mind are like accomplishment, closure. They're two very important words that I think are going to be huge for you during this time. So, what, what was underneath that? Page of Swords. Again, this air sign or this person who is very manipulative. It's an energy. 
They could be younger than you. They're sort of inviting you in to play their games, okay? Someone's playing a bit of games. I reckon it's the blame game they're trying to do. They're laying it on thick though with the Empress. Be careful, you might be stepping into one of their traps. The King of Cups tells me that there's love here. It's not just a game. There's genuine love for one another. So why is this happening? Definitely feel it's them trying to manifest. Okay, there's someone who really adores you, loves you, nurtures you, but they have a really funny way of showing it. It's almost bizarre. And it's draining this person, like being with this person or being near them or interacting with them takes a lot of energy. And I feel like your energy has been absorbed. You've absorbed their energy probably. Um, so I definitely feel like King of Cups, they've, they've got a love confession. They've got a very um, built up confession that they want to express to you but I also feel like they're confused like I feel like I'm getting tongue-tied as I do this reading so wow they're a little bit all over the place not surprised king of cups is Pisces energy Pisces is the fish that swims any way it likes okay so I feel like there's all possibilities are open but essentially the overall energy is that there will be some sort of resolution or climax or ending here um, it's for the best and it's something that needs to happen, but know that that's fated. Um, I feel like the doors of communication will be open and I feel like you'll really be able to manifest some favor out of this here, Cappy. So very, very interesting reading, but I'm going to leave it there. Thank you everyone for tuning in and we shall be connecting again very, very soon. So thank you so much, everyone. All the best and until next time. Bye for now.